arguably maybe is the hottest wrestler in WCW right now. You better talk quickly because Bummer's going to talk anytime. Go ahead, Mike, quick. It's been an incredible victory. And now, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the ring at this time, a nine-year veteran of professional wrestling, a member of the legendary and mysterious familia who gets his first shot at the heavyweight world title tonight by luck of the draw. But the world knows he deserves it. With his victories over Bam Bam Bigelow, Big Scott Norton, and Kevin Nash. Ladies and gentlemen, from San Diego, California, here is the challenger, a four-time champion and current cruiserweight champion of the world, the master of the Latino Frankensteiner, Ray Mysterio. documented that victory streak almost reads like the who's who of professional wrestling Rey Mysterio Jr. the reigning cruiserweight champ has knocked off some of the best but guys he now has to look across the ring at the 14 time world heavyweight champion Ric Flair but he's on a roll and sometimes those things just happen when you get on a roll like that luck follows you too Boy, he look. could walk out of here as the champion. Yes, he could, and he could go on into spring stampede. Mm -hmm. What a story that would be. Our next mega event, as you know, fans, the 11th of April, Sunday, Rey Mysterio Jr. could be on top of the mountain. And I don't mean Space Mountain, I mean the mountain that is WCW as the heavyweight champion of the world. Arn Anderson's at ringside with Ric Flair. Hmm. He just swerved Mysterio on the handshake. What's wrong with that? Swerving's all a part of the wrestling business, Mike. You should know that by now. You been swerved yet? Every day of my life. Still around. Side headlock. Down goes Ray. So now you see Ric Flair using textbook Ric Flair maneuvers and Ray using textbook quickness. And that was a little show up for not Whoa. shaking the head. What that was all about. Ray's not afraid of Flair. He's so quick, a drop toe hole, and another one. That time just grabbed the leg and kicks Flair. Flair is down, Ray's on top, and a oh. leg drop. I tell you, I don't like the looks of this. Uh-oh, turned around to celebrate. Hey. Oh, he just kicked Flair with a chop. Open hand slap with those forearms. Of all the things Ray has going for him, I think far and above all of them is the fact that he... Ah! Flair goes face first. That he fears no one. He is confident in his ability. He is not afraid of taking on anyone. And he has proved it time and time again on this program. But he's in there with the master. They call him the dirtiest player in the game. But this man is a master in that ring. Like I've said before, when you think you've got Flair, he's oh. got you. Anderson goes down. And again, it all goes back to the quickness. He crawled between the legs, double A. Drop kick puts Flair down. Well, he can surprise you. And that's what he needs, those hit and run tactics. Back out to the ring apron again. He's up top. Oh, oh. oh. this press. He's got him. This is how he beat Flair. Two. No. Oh. And Flair rolls on the outside. That's a good move. Get out of there. Regroup. He's behind you, though. Ray Jr. could win this world heavyweight title. He saw it coming. But he didn't see the other truck. That was double A. Somebody get the number of the truck that hit him. You know, the horsemen do not like to be embarrassed. They don't like to be shown up. And we saw Art Anderson just waiting in the wings for Mysterio, and he leveled him. And now Ric Flair sees an opening. Oh! oh. And Ray Jr. goes to school in the corner. And I, I need, I didn't even really pick up on this, but Charles Robinson, the referee, assigned again, assigned by WCW and in effect assigned by Ric Flair, and he and Flair had a little shoving match there. I was just going to mention that. Well, you missed, big guy. You better pick up the speed here. Ric Flair is hammering Ray Jr. Pretty good. 
And now he chops him. How about that? An Irish whip chopped him before he got to the corner. Brought him out of the corner just to chop him and knock him down. And there's that patented knee drop to the top of the head. We heard Bret Hart out here earlier. And don't forget, fans, we're going to be in Canada next Monday. Toronto coming to you live. First time ever for Nitro in Canada. The Air Canada Center. Sell out crowd on hand. And Bret Hart made some points talking about how he was the greatest technical wrestler of all time. And certainly he is one of them. But you got to put Ric Flair in that same frame, in that same thought. Pulls Ray up. Ray hasn't been able to do a whole lot of his high flying maneuvers. Uh, pinning combination, he almost pinned. Flair's kept him pretty well grounded. Ray is really not trying to. He has been limited in his offensive attempts against Flair. And now Flair just has him by the hand. He's going to take him out to the middle of the ring. Tossed him up. Look, at, look at Mysterio. Land on his feet. Oh, no. Gun oh. wrench takeover. Two. He almost hit him down oh. with three. Got a two. Flair comes up. Flair tries to hit, toss him back down. Ray tries to backslide it. Floats over to the front side. Arm whips him down. And now, one, two. Oh. 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 Oh, he's trying to win this one, isn't he? And now Flair, out of oh, sheer he... anger, comes firing back on Ray Jr. Well, Flair's got a temper. We all know that. And he doesn't like to be shown up. Especially by a cruiserweight. Not just any cruiserweight, the cruiserweight champion. You're one of the most remarkable wrestlers we've ever seen. You're right, Flair is. <laughs> yes, he is, and so is Ray Jr. Ray Jr. is not the champion of the world, and he's not the president of WCW. Ray Jr. is the cruiserweight. He's not the heavyweight champion of the world, but he's the cruiserweight champion. You have to argue about everything I yeah, say. Yeah, well, yeah, I do, and I'm not going to do a running argument with you. We're going to call the match. So oh. there, pick up. Well, somebody kicked sand in your face today, huh? So what about it? Here's a pick up in. Down oh. he goes. Does Ray. Vertical suplex. Flair may be here. One, two. And Ray's out of it. I think Flair may be a little frustrated right here. You can almost sense that, can't you? That he just has not been able to put Mysterio away. I think it was very apparent, just to try to call it as I see it here, that Flair did not want any part of Ray Jr. anyway. He even said he did. One, two. He was very angry when Ray came out with the number 23 earlier. Oh, and Flair, just the point of the knuckle in the forehead, on top of the head of Ray Jr. Mr. Mysterio's gonna get, get a heck of a lesson tonight. What you it's know? like to be in there with a world champion. Oh, that time, he whipped him into the rope, but Ray's head hit the top rope. And he crumpled in a heap down to the bottom rope that time. He comes right back up. Slide through, two gunshots, back of the head. Ray's not done. He stuns Flair. He's up. He's down. He kicks Flair. Head first. He can have him. Flair trying to get up. Trying to reach for the ropes. But Ray's up first. And he missed. Flair ducked. A spin wheel kick. Couldn't duck. A drop kick that time. Well, I don't think Flair knew where he was there. Yeah, I believe you're right. He was stunned, boy. He was had his bell run. Glancing blow by Ray Jr. Caught the nature ball. Flair to the midsection, to the abdomen. He's to the middle turnbuckle. Raise up. A drop kick. Whoa. Flair's going to fall over. Flair's. Well, Ray balanced him up that time. Raise up. Raise up. There goes Flair. He's going to have it. He's going to win the championship here, guys. Pin him. He is. One, two, and won this thing. Boy, he had him. He had it. And Charles raises the hand of the press. And the booze come out hard.